Hello, Soul Tribe, my spiritual warriors. I just finished praying over my cards and I'm shuffling my last deck. Welcome to Spiritual Guidance 1111. Um, we'll do a reading tonight. I have a, a couple of questions. I have a question that, uh, I, but I didn't write it down. Uh, but uh, I do know what the question is. It's about fossil medita meditation and fossil, fossil energy. And they wanted to know if I ever heard of it. And we'll answer the question. Um, tonight we're going to be using uh, What's the Tea Oracle and uh, uh, Terra. We'll ask the Holy Spirit to deliver us a message. Uh, Uh, anyway, I was just checking out my cards here. Uh, well, I asked the Holy Spirit to deliver a message for us. Um, I didn't have a really specific question. Just give us the message. A message that uh, that we want, uh, we need to hear, and what we want to hear, and. Uh, it, I didn't, like I said, I didn't get specific about uh, if it's about the person on your mind or you. So we'll just see what what uh, what they have to say or do. The first spread we're going to do is going to be, a, uh, I think I'm going to do a pyramid spread, but it's going to be a, a foundation of meaning 15 cards, and I'm going to build on the 15 cards. With the tower, I haven't decided. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We'll see. We'll go with that. It depends on what... Uh, on. Uh, it just depends on... What I'm called to do. Hmm. Uh, I hope everyone is fine. Uh, thank you for everything. Thank you. Please read my description, uh, my disclaimers, uh, check out the links that I put, um, and uh, like I said, thank you for everything. Thank you for those who subscribe to my channel, our channel. Thank you for the shares, the likes, the comments, all of the comments. So far, I can keep up with every comment. And uh, for the questions, I love the questions. Keep them coming. You know, I uh, there's some that I may never, I may not be able to to answer. Um, and let's get into our reading. Uh, wasting time. Wasting time. Uh, hmm. Moving on. Somebody's not wasting time moving on. They they are they they are not stuck. They are moving, moving, and uh, and they're ignoring. They ain't wasting time. They're not wasting time moving on. <laughs> they're ignoring something. Let me show you. I think I showed it to you. Uh, and those of you who don't follow me on TikTok, go check it out. I uh, TikTok is the same as uh, Spiritual Guidance Eleven Eleven. Uh, I I post uh, on TikTok, and a lot of times I post the same thing on my community on YouTube. So the only thing is I attach music to TikTok or a song. And personally, that's what they're ignoring. They're ignoring the. A, a someone who's an impersonator, someone who mm, was um, they in in this spread. I don't think it's what it is, but it's somebody who wants to be like you, Soul Tribe. This is like you. This is not someone else. This is you. You're not wasting time moving on from something and you're ignoring an impersonator or someone who is fake flexing. 
someone who is wears a mask. You know, they. You know. Hmm. <laughs> someone who has a lot of ego. A lot of ego. Wasting time moving on, ignoring someone who. Mm. And they have a ton of ego. And it's because you're doing all of this, because you're wasting, you ain't, you're not wasting time moving on and you're ignoring this, but it's hurting their ego. That's what that is. It is killing their ego. Ooh. That's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Boss daddy. Ah, like boss daddy. Boss daddy. It falls on the wasting time. You are boss daddy. Spiritual war, whoever this resonates with, is going to be a boss daddy or in that boss daddy energy. Okay? You are... You know, on the cards, you don't have to be what it says on the cards. You know, uh, stable, rich, business owner. You don't have to be all them things. But you're in that energy of being a boss, that a CEO type person, a, a, a big, um, <laughs> a, a, a big root. Yeah, big root type of fella. But but this is the energy. This could be female. This don't have to be. This could be boss mama too. This don't have to be just boss daddy. Boss mama. Just boss mama ain't going to have a big root. Uh, well, we hope she don't. Energy. <laughs> oh, I need to get out of this. Get out of this. Oh, yeah. Boss daddy rejecting something. Something. And it falls under moving on. Hmm. Yes, you are rejecting something. This is you, spiritual warriors. This is you, my little earth angels. This is you. You're rejecting somebody that talks some shit. I do too. Well, talk some shit, be like, Oop, two of swords. I'm out of here. Blocked. Shut up. Yeah. Yes, they don't send me no mean, nasty, gram comment talking about it's rude to say shut up. Yeah. And yeah, we can swap it up. You know. We can swap it up. We don't. We can be like, okay. Can you please keep quiet? Yes. And if they continue to talk, you just tell them like. Just shut your ass up, please. Yeah, talking shit. Talking shit. And this is what you're rejecting. This started off with Boss Daddy. And Boss Daddy is in that Two of Swords blocking. Rejecting. Rejecting any shit talking that's coming up towards him. They reject it. Boop. Done. See, Boss Daddy is the Queen of Swords. That is that type of energy. Boss that is the queen of swords. And then right next to that is the two of swords, which is rejected. And you're rejecting anybody that's going to approach you talking trash. No more of that you will deal with. You will not handle that no more. You will yeah, keep moving, boo. Yes, love triangle. And that goes for friends and family. Not just friends and family. Love trying. You are definitely not dealing with no love trying. No, oh, that oh. Third party. See what I'm saying? Third party. Oh, no, you ain't dealing with that. Mm -mm. Impersonator. Falls under impersonator. <laughs> oh, shit talking third party. Party? What? Be like karmic friends. You're not dealing with that neither. Rejected, blocked. Anybody that does not serve you the way you want, 
you blocking that ass. You like, I am done with all of this. I am too good to listen to somebody talking shit that's going to put me in the middle of a love triangle with some fruitcake turd party. No. No, I ain't going to do that no more. We're done with that shit. Yeah. You can take your karmic friends and, and don't leave mad. As you talking shit, get out of here. Please keep walking, keep moving, please. And you're moving in silence. That drive them nuts. Oh yeah, that drive them all. Karmic friends, them toxic karmic friends in that love triangle talking shit. They are like, what is, what are they doing? And boss daddy don't care. Boss mama don't care. Mm -mm. Nope. Most boss. Mm -hmm. You know, you see how she got a, she's like, she across the room over there. And, and boss mama, she, she, she telling whoever's booed up with her now, she's like, Cut. He probably over there beating them gums. Stop talking, boy. Come over here. Come over here and sit down right here by me. Boss mama. Keep him on a short chain, boo. Ah, damn it. Whew. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Ooh, drama starter. Yep. That falls underneath rejected. Drama starter. No, we ain't putting up with that either. No, no. Uh-uh. Oh, no. No, you could take that soap opera stuff and take that with you when you leave with your karmic, toxic, fruitcake, turd party. Go. We're not doing that drama shit no more. A grudge holder. That falls underneath talking shit. They holding. Oh, they got a grudge. Mm, no, you see? Third, but three candles. Mm, three, three candles. They're like surrounded by turd parties. You, you like. And you ain't dealing with it. You, you go over there and you, you like blow all the candles out. <laughs> yeah. You blow that candle out. That shit, that mean mugging too. They see that, look, oh, you see that face? Look how she's mad. What you mad for, boo? You over there with a turd party. With your karmic toxic ass friends. With your lit candles. Be like, yeah, and then she gonna tell you some bullshit talking about make a wish. Be like, all right. Blow that can. I wish I was. I wish I might. I wish your ass wasn't here tonight. <laughs> you like, damn boy, where you come up with that? Shit, that ain't the kind of wish I was talking about. <laughs> Golly, you stupid. What's wrong with you? Be like, put a smile on your face, girlfriend. Put a smile on your face. You got a turd party. That's what you wanted. You had, you got multiple lovers. Bad habits. Yeah. See, bad. Oh yeah. Oh no, we ain't dealing with that. You got a love. You got a love triangle turd party going on. That falls in the neat turd party. That's got bad habits. Your turd party got bad habits. And turd party could be like person, place, or thing. Okay. I, I pick on. I pick on whoever it is that might be the third party. It, I believe that in this situation it is, but it could be just friends. A group of friends that come between you and your person. It could be an addiction. That's a third party. They come between you and you. Because if they not willing to separate themselves from whatever comes between you and them, that's a third party. If work comes between you and them, that's a third party. Yes. And people have to understand that. I pick on third party, and I guess I got to be careful with that because, yeah, I'm not, though. I'm going to keep banging on that third party be like, oh, yeah. Hey, you see, group is... I just said that. Just said that. <clears throat> yeah.
Yo. Group. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh, and for, for whoever I had somebody in the comments say something about, you know, about talking to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit don't talk to me or whatnot. Okay, I got bad news for you. Yeah. The Holy Spirit do talk to me because when Jesus left, when they crucified Jesus and he left, mm -hmm. stay with me now. Don't fall asleep yet. Stay with me. Just a few more minutes. He said, I'm going to send you a comforter. I'm not sure, but I think that comforter is going to talk to me. Wouldn't your comforter talk to you? I mean, I ain't talking about no damn quilt or something that you sleep under. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus was talking about. I'm going to send you a comforter. So, whatever that comment is, you can take that and you can leave with them toxic karmic friends. <laughs> I just, I just saying. I don't mean to piss nobody off. Just, but this is me right now. I resonate with this because I am unbothered by whatever comment about that. You no, know, but this is you, soul tribe, spiritual warrior. You are totally unbothered. This falls on top of wasting time, moving on, boss daddy, boss mama, and rejected. You are totally unbothered. Nothing they say, nothing they do, post, nothing triggers you. They cannot trigger you. And that drives them even more crazy. That drives them because they they totally miscalculated all of this when it came to you. And we, we are talking about you. We are talking about you. This is not about them, but I am saying that they totally miscalculated. Their calculations was all wrong. And they had planned moves ahead now. In this game that they played, they had planned moves ahead. They said, okay, if I do this, this is what they, he's going to do or she's going to do. They, that's what they're going to do. Okay, and then once they do this, then when I do this, then they're playing chess. And this is what I'm going, okay, yeah, I can I can burn that pawn. I can I can use that up. That's cool. And then they're going to make a move. And then I'm a counter move. All of that shit didn't work. Not this time. No. See, they played the short game. You was playing the long game. Yeah. And you had played this game before. That's what they don't know. Past lives, you played the game before. And you recognize the moves. Unfortunate for them. It's very unfortunate. Mm. Unbothered. Travel. Travel, moving on. It, it falls on top of moving on, ignoring, rejected, and talking shit. It put sh in the front of it because I got a nasty gram about that. I shouldn't be saying them words. So this falls on top of. They're gonna try this. Well, we'll, we'll try this. We're moving on, ignoring, rejecting, and talking caca. Okay. How about that? It, it, it means the same, but, you know, the word is, uh, yeah, doo-doo, caca, whatever you want to call it. Where I'm from, we call it shit. It, I mean, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hot dog it. Anyway, travel. You're moving on, so obviously this could be a metaphor of of what you're emotionally moving on. This what you're emotionally traveling away from something. And this could be a literal travel. You you're traveling. This is not like this don't have no uh this don't have no U-Haul truck or nothing on it. So this is more like a a business travel, a a holiday maybe you going on. Maybe. And me and my bride, we was talking about going on, so this could resonate with, with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, me and my bride was talking about going somewhere. Yep. Going on a big vacation. We're going to go on a big vacation. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. Going to go to Gidon, down the road. It's not far. 
We're going to get us a bed and breakfast over there. It's, it's probably about, I don't know, what, 15 or 20 miles. I ain't going to go far. I don't like going far. Oh, no, hell no. I've been gone for 57 days. I want to stay home. Yeah. In fact, I might just pay for her and Miss Tammy to go over there. Be like, yeah, go. They got a hot tub. They got a, yeah, yeah. I won't get mad. I'm good. I'm going to stay home. Me and my puppies. Too busy winning. Yeah, ignoring, impersonator, talking caca, and the love triangle. You too, you know, you're not even worried about none of this. You like, you too busy, you too busy winning. You are like, boss daddy is like, boss mama winning. They ain't worried about that. It, the last reading that we had, they had like something like a project. You was, you were uh, very creative and there was something like a project that you may be into. And that's what you're concerned about. That's it. You're not worried about nothing else. You're like, I'm good. I, psh, whatever. You're unbothered. You're not, you're rejecting everything that they come up against you with. For those that are into flower gardening or just vegetable gardening, you over there and you're in the garden and you're just like, whatever, I'm good. You're admiring the hell out of that tomato or some pretty flowers. Mm, you ain't worried about all that. Hustling, see? Too busy with winning and hustling. That's, I mean, and this person over here, they like, they they fake flexing. They in their ego. You killing their ego. You like destroying that. You know they they in a love triangle with whoever. Oh slang blade over there. You know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who they are. I'm just saying slang blade. Yeah, he like he biscuit eater. That's what he wanted. Them damn biscuits, you boy. Mm -mm -mm. You, if you don't know how to make a biscuit, you better learn. Cause Sling Blade, he ain't playing. And some karmic friends. I mean, this, these, this, these two roles right here is terrible, terrible. If you in that energy, get out of it, move, get away from it, because it's not good. And it's, I'm not giving you advice. I'm telling you, I'm giving you my opinion, and my opinion. Is. Look, unfazed. You are unfazed, spiritual warrior. It falls in the neat, unbothered. You are like, you over there sitting in your vegetable garden, drinking a cup of coffee early in the morning. Yeah. What you mean to cap on? Like, damn, girlfriend. You got your spirit bracelet on? Hot oh, damn it. Unfazed. <laughs> Ain't nothing bothering you, boo. You're like, we done. Yeah, we are so done. Creep all. Oh, they watching you. Oh. They watching everything. They watching you drink your coffee. Go in the house. <laughs> spiritual hater. You are spiritual. And they hating on you. They don't like you because you're a spiritual person. You don't have to love Jesus. You just, you don't have to. And I ain't going to try to convert you to make you love or try to get you to love Jesus. Yeah, no. Yeah, this is 2024. Everybody got Bibles. They got them in every hotel room. I mean, it's like, if you got, it's a buffet of, of, of religions out there to choose from. But this is a spiritual hater. Mm-hmm. And for the record, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Jesus is my friend, but you don't have to be friends with my friends, okay? I'm, I'm not going to ask you to do that. Okay. <laughs> and people like that be like, this dude is nuts. What? No. No, Jesus is my friend. Yeah. And he sent somebody over here named the Holy Spirit for me to talk to. And he talks to me, and I talk to him, and stalker. See? They're creeping on you. They're watching you drink your coffee because you're spiritual. And you're over there and you're talking to who, whatever energy you believe. If it's God, Buddha, 
the universe, you're drinking your coffee, and you're sitting in your garden, and you're talking, and they're watching you, and, but they're hating on you too because you're spiritual. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Man. And look, that's some scary stuff. That Look, um, let me show you that if I can without messing all my cards up. See that? Look how crazy she look. Lord have mercy. My daughter, she liked to watch scary movies with shit like this in there. I watched the movie one time, but her scared the hell out of me. This chick, man, she was coming out the TV. You know, not literally, but like in the movie. And, and she was like crawling out the TV. I was like, oh, hell. I dreamed that like for a week also. I was like, whew. Talk, yeah, stalker. Yep, stalker. They, man, they stalking you. Hating on you. Oh, cop blocking. Yep, cop blocking. They they want to stop you. They they don't know what to do with you. They do not know what to do with you. And you over there just sipping on your coffee. You do not care. You unfazed, unbothered. Cop blocking falls under unbothered, unfazed, creeping, and travel. Nothing bothers you. Driving them insane. Nothing bothers you. They put shit on social media. It don't bother you. Block. <laughs> Block. Yeah. Yeah. Through the rumor mill, you hear things that they said. It don't matter. But like, yeah. Yeah. The, the one that's telling you that, you're like, yeah, well, really? Well, they left out a lot of shit I did wrong, I promise you. <laughs> Looking you up. They, they are creeping, they stalking, they trying to figure you out. They just, they want to know what in the hell is going on with you. And why you happy. You just happy. Yeah. I said fake flexing. I said that earlier. It's like the fourth card out, I said they was fake impersonator. They fake they fake flexing. You know, they're trying to be bougie. They think they're all that, and they're not. No, they mm -mm. They act rich. They act like they got some shit. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. And it's killing them too. Because you're not, you're not fake. <laughs> it's, ki it's killing him because you're not fake flexing you, you know. Shit. The problem with this is, them they faking and they hanging with a bunch of fake ass karmic, trashy friends, a bunch of trash cans. And the, and the third party is a trash can too. He's like a dumpster. They, I shouldn't say he, they are like a dumpster because it could be a shoot. Yeah, the third party could be a shoot. It could be like multiples, damn. They could be like having a, a group that going on, sexual group it. Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Can't handle one, much less a group of them. Like, my God. <laughs> Reflecting. Reflecting. Yes, you just sitting there, you like chilling, you meditating, you're doing your fossil meditation, and you're getting all of that energy of, of fossils that's been there for like millions of years, just building up energy. Shoot! Sure. Crystal energy too. Yeah, they, 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 you use that too. That's the same thing. I'm answering the question right now. It's all the same thing. Crystal energy and fossil energy is. It's used for healing. It's used for like amethyst. Amethyst is a crystal that you use and it it helps you move, makes you happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you don't use that carry? Don't have to. I don't want to use that energy up. I want to let somebody else use that. That's that's not happy. I'm let them have that. Go ahead. Y'all use that. It's good. I'm happy with me. <laughs> I'm good. Sean. Oh yeah, you got your Sean on. Boo, you are glowing. You glowing. 
Whatever you're doing, keep doing because your light is like driving that demon's nuts. You was like you and you're too happy to think. See, they think you're insane. They think you're crazy. Yeah. They're like, bro, this dude, this nerd needs to go to a freaking Dr. Phil show or something or, or a psychiatrist because he's too happy. Yeah. And you are queen rising. Yes, indeed. And this is an energy. This could be a, a masculine or a feminine. It does a male or female. This is not a this queen rising. So and I am a feminine. So I could be the queen. Hell yeah. Be like, damn boy. When I get my femininity get going, look out, it's on. Woo. Yes, indeed. Anyway, that is the cap of the pyramid, Queen Rising. This is the cap of the pyramid. And I am going to pick these up. And I am going to get my Tara. And we're going to use my Tara. Mm -hmm. You know they got some impatient person out there that's like, man, come on, hurry up. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody needs to calm down. We're gonna I wanna do I'm gonna do a um a diamond spread. Let me do I think I'm gonna do a diamond spread. Oh, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. And y'all know me pretty well. Those that have been watching me knows that I'm not going to probably just read this first card. I'm going to wait and get a couple of more cards and then I'm going to read them all together. Ooh, Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Two of Swords. Rejected. Remember on the last spread we had rejected Two of Swords. Yes. Hmm. Somebody is, uh, and this is this is you. This this is about you, but it's it's an energy that you. It. I'm gonna say that this is a a past energy. A detached energy. This is somebody. This is for you, soul tribe, spiritual world. But this is somebody. When I'm gonna talk about this, this is somebody that you detach from or you disconnected from you cut the cord okay because this is somebody that wants to bring you an offer the knight of cups is somebody the knight is traveling towards you the knight is traveling towards this person towards the two of swords and four of cups in reverse four of cups in reverse is uh, it's it's uh it's kind of like a fake offer. Hmm. It's it's like a fake offer. It's a it's it's not a it's not it's not legitimate. I mean it's legitimate, but it's not beneficial to you. It's and you turning it down because two of souls. You're like, mm, I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate it. I sincerely appreciate it. But I'm good. Mm -hmm. Because this is somebody you know. Mm -hmm. These are two water signs right here. Right here. This is in the water energy. And this is some emotional energy. They... they quite possibly could be emotional and when I say emotional that doesn't mean that they're in love that means that they could be in, in distress they could be suffering that's that's an emotion so, and the uh, source energy is air 
it is uh, the Gemini Libra Aquarius. You know, it, it's a uh, Libra is balanced. You know, they Libra will balance quick, judge quick. They they are the scales. And Aquarius, everybody know Aquarius. They like say what they got to say, and they like. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. This earth energy right here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And that falls on top of Four of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. This is some this has got this is the same thing. It's somebody that hold on. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Knight of Pentacles. Same thing, Earth. Another pentacle. Eight of pentacles. Oh, I see what this is. This is you. This is you. You're going, you you are, if if you have a job, if whatever your project is, remember yesterday we had a reading or, or whatever, the last reading I did, you had a project or something, you are, you're being offered something. Ace of pentacles, you're being offered something. And it, the the Knight of Pentacles. It, it's like you're accepting it, and you're you're moving on with it. You're going to accept it, and you're going to move on. If it's a job, it's more Pentacles. You will be making more money, more. What if it's a job? If it's your job, it. I'm not saying that it's going to be an increase in. In position, I'm saying there's going to be an increase in Pentacles. You will make some more money. Knight of Pentacles is you're accepting this and you're moving on. You're good with it. And the Eight of Pentacles is you're going to work hard at whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Oh my goodness. Ace of Wands falls on top of Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. And that talks about it's, it's you starting whatever this project is. Whatever your project is, whatever your job is, whatever you do, whatever it is. It's going to grow. Your, your ace of wands is growth. You are, it is a, a, you are going to grow. You will be blessed. I had somebody, I think it's Tony. I think it's Tony. I can't, I'm not going to be positive, but I believe it was. It said, you know, it's not success, it's blessed. And, and he's right. It's right, it's blessed. You are being blessed. Of course, you will be successful, but you are being blessed. This is divine blessings that's coming on you. Nine of Cups. Ooh. Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. You're like, oh yeah, this is like more, and, and it's, it's wish fulfillment in everything. It's not just in one certain thing. You know, Cups is emotion. But what this is saying that uh, because, and it's, it may not, whatever this project is, you're going to be blessed in it. But the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's something that you, you like, it's what you wanted. It, it could be physical, spiritual, financial, and emotional. And so, you know, and within the physical and emotional part, that involves a lot of things. It could be a relationship that you got into, that you are going to be. It is was your wish, and, and it is going to be, you will be blessed in that. Whatever your project is, it's going to be the same thing. It is a wish fulfillment. You will be blessed in that. Three, yep, three of, of swords in reverse. Moving on, you're 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 letting go of whatever. If something did break your heart, because that's what that is. That's a broken heart. Somebody betrayed you, stabbed you in the heart, and what if that 
you are letting all of that go. You're you're forgiving them and you're putting all of that behind you and you're moving on. You're moving on what whatever this project is you have and your wish fulfillment, you're taking that and you like, I'm good, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Yes. Queen of Cups in reverse. And it falls on top of Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard. Um, and if and it's next to the three of swords in reverse, these two cards together are in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever happened, whatever happened that, that emotionally tore you up, crippled you. Whatever happened, put you in that. Queen of Cups. You're right. And right now, you're in that Queen of Cups in reverse energy, and it is you. You. You letting go of everything. You're moving on. You don't want to deal with that no more. You don't want to deal with none of it. You. You. You want to. They say self love. I believe in self care. You want to self care. You want to take care of yourself. And your circle, not just you, but your circle, you want to include that too. Uh, because your circle is codependent on you. They need you. Then they want you. If they're still with you, they want you, but they, they really need you. you know? And uh, whatever, whatever happened with that, was it was betrayal and they were unfaithful to you. They stepped out. They stepped out away from you. They stepped out of your circle. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands right here. Them two Aces together is two. Two is, is some type of love connection. That was a love connection that this is talking about. This has it, it is it has something to do with it. But this row right here is is it's talking about you were offered something or you will be offered something at your job, at your project, whatever your project is, it will be a blessing. You will be blessed because of it. That's this row. Oh, another ace, 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 ace of, ace of swords. Wow, three aces. Ah, oh, damn! Shoot, I wish I was playing poker. What? Boy, I'd be throwing some bets now. I don't bet, but hell, I would if that if I had that hand. Be like, shoot, what? Damn, much can beat that. Ace of, of Swords. Hmm. Got the Ace. <laughs> Got the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of Spades, and the Ace of Clubs. I mean, I, I want to. I need to do the, another. The Fool. In reverse. Fool in reverse. Everybody knows what the fool looks like. The fool is in reverse. The Ace of Swords. What this is saying right here is somebody's going to approach you. Somebody's coming towards you that may want to make an offer. Okay? Because down here you have the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. Two of Swords. And then up here you have the Ace of Swords and the fool in reverse. And that is telling you, the Holy Spirit is telling me that this is, watch what you say. Listen more and talk less. Watch what you say and don't talk much. Hold back. That's what the fool in reverse is. Hold back. Just, just don't say a whole lot. Just listen. You're going to get more out of listening than you will talking. Let them talk. The moon in the upright. 
the ace of swords, the fool in reverse, and the moon in the upright. You know things about this person, but you don't need to talk about it. You don't need to divulge. You let that be. <laughs> you let them talk. And you're going to figure out how when they're talking to you what they're willing to divulge because you're going to know more than what they say. But don't say, don't, do not, and, and this is my opinion, not advice. Please don't take it as advice. My opinion. Hold back. Do not say a whole lot. Don't. In the conversation, was, you don't need to say, well, oh, yeah, well, I know this. Don't say that. Let them divulge it if they want to. If they don't, then you know they're not sincere. They hadn't divulged everything because you know that's the game. Checkmate. Oops. Three souls. You win. If it's a win, if you, if they, I'm going to tell you this, they look at it as, as a win or loss. You should. You look at it as I love this person and I can't believe they did this to me. That's how you look at it. I sincerely adored this person and I can't believe they drilled me in the ass like they did. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Yes. Yes. You see, push back. Yes. You protect yourself. You protect yourself by not divulging as much as you know. Do don't you don't ever need to do that. You don't ever need to do that. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you need to to say, well, this is what I know. Oops. Yes. And a lot of times people are not sorry for what they said. They're sorry because you know it. That's the messed up part. They're like, damn, boo. That's what the difference between regret and remorse. Yeah, they're not, they regret they got caught. They're not sorry that they did it. They're like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> or or the, the opposite of that. I, should, I shouldn't have used a, a, a gender term. <laughs> but a dude could be a bitch now. Yeah, because I know some dudes that are bitches. Yeah. Six of pentacles. <laughs> in reverse, six of pentacles in reverse. Yes. Oh yeah, they. Mm, this person is going to be approached. If they bad motives. That's what the sevens of wands is. It's a block between because you know things that they don't know. You know, you know things, and they may they may not know that you know. You know, intuition. Astral projection, yes, discernment, cards, you know things. And what the Seven of Wands is, between the Moon, the Seven of Wands, and the, the Six of Pentacles, is they're going to approach you, but it is, it's insincere terms. They, it's fake flexing. It is, it is... Un they're not sincere they if they say forgive me they, they don't give a damn if you do or not they're going to go right back to doing what they did before you know how I know because you, you allowed that before and they did it you you thought they were going to change and they didn't they, they, they refused to to see the light they refused to do what was necessary and they continued to hurt you and they didn't care you don't think that's what this block is. That's what the Seven of Wands is. It's like, yo, ace of, oh, you see, another ace. Four aces. I'm, I'm putting everything in. Oh, yeah, I'm calling. Call. <laughs> I'm calling. Yeah, we're playing poker. It's on. I got, man, I got four aces. Four aces in a row. In a row. Yeah, okay, this was in the wrong spot right there. There you go. Fix that, boy. This lands on top of Ace of Swords and, and the Fool in Reverse. And what that's telling me, what these three cards are telling me right here is that this person is going to be emotional. They're going to be pulling on your heartstrings. If they make that approach, if they come to you, and I believe that sooner or later, they will come to you. They, will, they won't have a choice. They, you know, Karma is going to put them in such a predicament that it's, they... I don't know how to put that, but karma is going to, are, are they going to, and it may not, 
That's the whole thing. They they will fight karma the whole way. Stubborn. They will fight. They, they will say to themselves, I'd rather take a loss. I'd rather die before I go back and have to ask. That's maybe that type of person. They do have them type of people out there. You know, hey. You're like, okay, that's cool with me. You want to do that? Because you approach me anyway, you might not get the shit anyhow, so hell, why take the gamble? That's how they're going to look at it. <laughs> but Ace of, Ace of Cups, they will come to you and they will. That's an emotional card right there. That, that, what that, that is, is big time emotion. They will come to you and. Um, Yes, they, they, they're going to want to uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if what if what happens if they cry, if they become super emotional and I'm talking about uh, remember that seven of wands. Remember that moon, that moon's right there. If they don't, if they're not forthright with everything that you know, then go back to the Seven of Wands and walk away. Walk away. Tell them, I appreciate it. The sun, you see, and it falls on top of the moon. They're going to want to, they're going to want the sun lights up everything. The sun is a disinfectant of everything. Emotional baggage. It will, if if they want to come to you with and and give you all of the emotional bullshit that they've did and they've done, then that's a totally different story. Then we're talking about a totally different thing. And if they're willing to change their ways and change what they've been doing and you know being and sincere now. Now I would definitely put keep my guard up. I would definitely keep my guard up because this has happened before. The devil, ooh, that's not good. Falls right next to the sun. That's exactly what I was talking about. The devil in reverse. Hmm. Not good. I wish that had not come out right there. If you take that, if you accept whatever they do, if you accept it, they're going to try to regain some control again. Slowly they will try to, this is like an octopus with tentacles, they're going to try to slowly regain control. And they lost control with you a long time ago. You just allowed and you hoped and you prayed that they would, would come around and you hoped and you prayed that they would get back on whatever spiritual path that they should have been on with you because you are a spiritual warrior. Eight of Swords. Yes. If you do not, if you allow them to take control, you will go right back into a stuck position. They will hurt you emotionally, financially. I don't think they would hurt you physically, but it could because all of those things combined can hurt you physically because it puts a lot of stress on you. They will be careful with this. Be very careful with this. This person, what I see right here, has not changed. They will not change. They're going to say the right things. Short term, they're going to do the right things. But long term, the minute they will test your boundaries... And if you do this, the first boundary that they, they cross cut them off, go right back into a detached position. Do not play with them. Do not play with them. And do not invest. Financially, I'm talking about. Your ass will lose. Nine of Swords. That lands on top of Ace of, Ace of Cups and the Sun. They... 
Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups and the Sun. Nine of Swords. They have anxiety, worry. They fear that you will reject whatever they bring. They don't know what you know. They, people talk too damn much anyway. Toxic ass friends. They trust people. Pillow talk. Yeah. And they think that you don't know. Or they make this assumption. And they come to you. And they only tell you part of the story. A lie. It's a lie. A lie of omission. Because they're not telling you the whole truth. It is what it is. And they're worried about that. That's what the Nine of Swords is. They are worried. Six of Swords. Yeah. With that. Lands on top of the sun. And the devil in reverse. You're moving away from that. You're like, mm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I am perfectly fine. I liked it. Well, and, and again, that's two air cards right there. There's two air energies. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Both of, both of these cards are, this ain't, this is, uh, mm. Mm -mm. no, you tell you, you're going you're gonna to quickly put a halt to that. Mm. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Lands on top of the Devil and the, the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Moving forward. You have the foresight. You know... You already know ahead of time what their plan is. You are, you are, I'm talking about four or five moves ahead of these, this energy. And you, you just, you know, you, because you know them. And you know they, they do the same thing. Their life is a cycle. They continue to do the same thing over and over again. They continue to make the same moves over and over again. And you know them. They don't know you because you're an enigma. You don't you don't make the same moves and your your calculations are like off the charts. They're like, what in the hell? Three of Wands is that? Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Mm. The star in reverse lands on top of nine of swords, six of swords. You don't trust them at all. I'm talking about your level of trust with this individual soul tribe, spiritual warrior. You, it is at in the negative. It's not even at zero. It's in the negative. You, you have like zero faith, zero trust in this person, minus negative trust, because they have shown you over and over again. Yes, they have they have proven their self to you and you like you ain't going to go for that. Mm -mm. And that's, I mean, we're talking about Major O'Connor right there. Mm -hmm. Queen. No, there's one right here. There's the. I was. No, one, two, three. I was looking at how many major arcana cards we have. Four. And there's two of them back to back. Arcanas. Two major arcanas back to back. The temperance in reverse. Right next to the star in reverse. And it falls on top of six of swords and the three of wands. Mm. 
This person, this is talking about this person. This is not you. It's talking about because of, of this, this person has done too much. They have like over excess extremes in everything. They have like hurt you big time. My God. Things that they say they lie about. That's okay, like let's say this person, they they go somewhere and they say, I don't drink. They have been drinking. They drink a lot. Overindulgence. A lot. If they say they quit smoking, they lie. They still smoke. Big done. This this is this is overindulgence in everything, and they got a lot of, of pain in this card. A lot of pain. This temp the temperance, the earth angel is not them. The earth angel is you. The earth angel is you. You're the one that's being hurt by this person because of their their I'm gonna, I'm gonna say addictions and excess and lack of moderation in everything. Not just one thing, in everything. My God. And you are in the Queen of Swords. And you told them Queen of Swords energy. That's this is the the last card in the diamond spread is the Queen of Swords. My goodness. Cups. That would have been the one after that. Wow. Hmm. On the bottom of the deck, it's the Eight of Cups, which you are you walking away. You're you have. An immense amount of disappointment. Whoever this is, whatever it is, friends or family, whatever, it could be a group. You have an immense amount of disappointment. You are like taking your emotions, your cups, and you are you are done. Two of cups. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Again, you don't. Oh yeah, two of cups was in reverse. Two of Cups. Uh, you don't trust nobody. You don't. I mean, you have been hurt so bad that you don't trust nobody. <clears throat> you have an option. You have some options. Seven of Cups. You have some options. There's justice, karma. Karma is, is, things will be balanced out. They don't know that yet, but things will be balanced out. They, they, they will watch you being blessed. And all of the hurt and the pain that they caused, if, if this is a, yep, this is a twin connection. This is the four four of wands. This is a twin connection. If they hurt you, they're gonna hurt just like they hurt you. This will do. They will feel the pain that they put on you. They put a lot of burden on you. Ten of wands. They put a lot of burden. You were like overloaded with everything emotional, uh, burdened emotionally, burdened financially. Yes, physically. Oh my God. 
goodness. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Yes. Ooh, man, they, they like, they put it on you. Big time. So, uh, let's see what, uh, what, what is the Tyrant Wisdom, Tyrant Wisdom. Captain Reed, how do you respond to someone that challenges your spiritualism? And how do you mix your spiritualism and religion together? Oh, uh, and I'm assuming if they challenge you, it's going to be from a Christian. Well, that being said, um, hmm, I really don't, when it comes to religion and spiritualism, I don't, uh, I am spiritual. I am not religious. No. I am not a religious person. In, uh, in in Matthew, what it is, 23, Matthew 23, Jesus, he, he talked about that. Because he was talking about religious people. Very, very religious people. And that's what they talk about, the seven woes in Scripture. The seven woes are, uh, in Matthew 23, you can read the whole, ver the whole chapter. It's a good chapter. And he's talking to the Pharisees. And he says, woe to you Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Jesus was spiritual. He was not a religious person. He spoke against religion. He spoke against being religious. Because what religious is, is in, in the way he described it was, it's like you whitewashing a tomb. And the tomb is pretty, the tomb is beautiful, but the inside is dead and full of bones. And that's how some churches are today. Some churches are dead on the inside, they're beautiful. Some of the prettiest churches you could imagine, but they are dead inside. They, they are dead, it is not spiritual at all. They go through the motions, meaning they, they go to church. They, but they don't have a connection with Christ. They don't. They don't have. They don't have a connection to God. They don't talk to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit don't talk to them. They have no gifts. They forfeit all that, just like the Sadducees, the Pharisees, and the Sadducees. That's what. That's what. When it comes to all of that, they dead spiritually. They also continues with a with a a. Uh, Please explain your opinion. I hope I answered your question about spiritualism and, and uh, I, I try not to respond to anyone that challenges me on religion and or Christianity and spiritualism because you can get bogged down and you can a lot of hurt feelings and I'm not into all of that I, I do my thing and if they want to be religious and if they want to continue doing what they've been doing for a very long time that's them that's them anyway please explain if you have one your opinion of the Christian rapture and do you believe that should have been I guess the first question do you believe in the rapture uh, yes, of course. If, if you're a Christian, then you should believe in the rapture. And then when that rapture, if you want to look it up, it's in Thessalonians, uh, the fourth chapter. I want to I want to say the thirteenth verse. I want to say it's the thirteenth verse, but it's right in there. But anyway, that's where it talks about what the rapture is is the dead in Christ will rise and they're going to be taken up and those that are living that are Christians spiritual not religious because they're going to have a bunch of them the Bible says wide is the road that leads to destruction but narrow is the one that goes to salvation that means there's not a whole lot of people going to be on that road it's going to be like a, a you know a a 12 lane interstate running through Houston 
you know, or Dallas, any big city. You, you, that, that would be my metaphor. It's going to be a lot of people on that road, but it's going to destruction because they're not spiritual. They're going through the motions. It's a ritual for them. It's not the, what Christ came here to destroy all that. And they don't know, they don't understand that part of it. They don't understand that part of it. You know? Uh, but anyway, yes, I do believe in the rapture. I do believe. And it's in Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, somewhere it's around the 13th verse, 13, 14 verse, somewhere like that. And it talks about the dead and the Christ is going, and, and Christ is going to rise and those that believe are going to meet him in the air, in the clouds. Uh, and there's a lot of belief that um, it, it can get very, very confusing. The only thing, tired wisdom, I am going to tell you is this. <laughs> None of that matters. None of that matters if you're not, if you're not saved. And I'm not trying to convert you. Do not misunderstand me. I'm not trying to convert you. That doesn't matter if you're not saved. So what you need to do is focus on salvation. And if you are a Christian, and you will be raptured. That's what you should believe. Stay close to God. He wants to hear from you. He wants to talk to you. Um, talk to Him. If you have an issue, a problem, talk to Him. He'll take care of it. I love each and every one of you. And I can't wait to talk to you again. Peace out.